show for you today is a good one. Let's get it going. Please have a seat. So we are in New York right now, but recently we took the show on the road to Los Angeles. Yes. We went there for a couple of big exclusives in our latest road trip with Tamron series. And this one was to celebrate an historic milestone in music. It's the 50th anniversary of the genre known as hip hop. And if you are wondering for a second about the significance of the celebration, even the Empire State Building recently lit up to honor this mega milestone. It, by the way, is our first trip to LA since I co-hosted the Oscars red carpet uh, for ABC back in 2020. So we finally were able to get out on the road. So this trip was very special. I got to sit down with the two women who took the world of music by storm like few others. They are rap royalties, queens of hip hop, Cheryl Salt James and Sandra Peppa Denton, known of course as Salt and Peppa. If that doesn't get you going, hip hop changed everything. Music, fashion, the conversation. And one thing that has remained a part of the conversation of the past five decades is the fact that hip hop is still so male dominated. But Salt and Pepper are not just considered the most important female hip hop group of all time, they are one of the most important hip hop groups ever. More than 15 million albums sold, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a Lifetime Achievement Grammy for almost four decades. These trailblazers have paved the way for women. They are the first female rap group to ever go platinum with hits like Push It, Shoot, Let's Talk About Sex, and What a Man. They are cultural force, icons in music, the first ladies of hip hop, and they have given us an exclusive look into their lives and legacy. Take a look! Hi, long time no see. New York How are you? Times, <laughs> cover. Yes, yes. The Salt and Pepper is here. <laughs> we here, girl. We here. <laughs> in effect. Listen, I have, can I just soak this oh, in? Oh, wow. You know, that's the first time I'm seeing it. It's your first time? Yeah. <sighs> this, this cover I love. It's you with Issa Rae. The issue is the culture issue. The cover says this. This woman's work. 40 legendary female artists and the younger women who remind them why they make art. Wow, that's good stuff. This <sighs> year has been a reminder of the significance of hip hop. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you walked out on that Grammy stage, I, I went to Twitter immediately and just the tweets from other famous yeah. artists, from fans just Flooding well, in. you know, Busta Rhymes and Salt and Pepper got the biggest cheers. <laughs> <laughs> That's when my daughter was like, "Mom, did you hear them?" I had to go back and listen, and I was like, "Oh, it's I true. was on my feet <laughs> in my house. I was like, "Get it, girl! Get it!" Representing the ladies. Representing the ladies. Lady. Yes, it was an amazing feeling because we're coming from a time. First of all, we have to say when hip hop was a question, will it last? Mm -hmm. They always ask us that, will it last? Yeah. And to be able to have to say, to start that off, to celebrate the 50th anniversary yeah. for hip hop is amazing. Yeah. And for us who had a, it's such a male dominated feel yeah. and had a hard time because mm -hmm. we were such a, you know, popular, crossing over, selling millions, and um, they gave us a hard time, you know, say we were too pop, you too know. Pop. Too pop, which <laughs> too is. Too sexy. Too sexy. To yeah. everything. Yeah, oh yeah. And what you always say, we brought what to the game? So, Fa uh, fun fashion and femininity. Fun yeah. fashion mm -hmm. and femininity, which yeah. is so appropriate that you were on the stage, Grammys, but then you're on the cover of T, the New York Times style magazine, because you did mm -hmm. merge these worlds in a yeah. way no one had done, no man had done, really. Yeah, yeah, when we started, I mm -hmm. mean, we were just being our 
authentic selves. We mm -hmm. dressed ourselves. Mm -hmm. We made up our own. You got your salt pepper <laughs> haircut today. Uh, we got your special <laughs> Thank you, salt. Thank you. We're going to talk about that in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Like, <laughs> we just was making it up as mm -hmm. we went along. Like, one of our iconic looks was the push it look, right? Yeah. And that, that whole look has a history because... There's a, a wonderful woman in Harlem who used to make Kente clothing mm -hmm. and hats. We got the hats from Mary. Are we referring to? Yes, girl, you know it. Yes. That look yes. right there. That look right there with Kid, our boots. Um, play from Kid, Kid and play. play. Designed the jacket. Dapper Dan constructed the jacket. We went and just got us some spandex, and those boots, boots, boots are from Favor, Favor girl. <laughs> Favor. <laughs> These niggas are in baby. my closet still today. Yes. And that's what I was thinking about, just how yeah. relevant, not only the fashion, but yeah. also what you represent. You can go around the world and salt and pepper. Yeah. You say that. It's not just mm -hmm. on our table. Exactly. It's everywhere yeah. in our ears, and yeah. people know what you're talking about. When yeah. you're mapping it out, right. what's the best scenario that you thought would happen? Oh, the best scenario? This? I thought all of this. <laughs> all of this. this. Yes. Like, Shoot. for me personally, like, as soon as I got on that microphone, <laughs> I was like, this is what I'm going to do with my life, oh. period. You know, I was the no plan B person. It just made me feel purposeful. It made me feel alive. It made me feel like... It was my destiny. So I'm, I'm a little bit of an introvert, the least likely person to be salt of salt and pepper. But you know, when you find your thing, you it just elevates but you and motivates you forward. And that's why it worked, because we believed. Works. And you both stayed authentic to your personality. Yeah. You being the introvert, you and, being yeah. the extrovert. Yeah. But it the extra, works. extra. <laughs> <laughs> you put some extras on that some extra. Pepper on it. Yes. <laughs> yes. But that's what made yes. it so great. And yeah. so here we are, the 50th anniversary mm -hmm. of hip hop. You have now a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah. I read a quote that you said um, about when you first came to Hollywood and you saw those names and you said, even when the person is no longer here, that star is going to be there representing their accomplishments. Yeah. yeah. Forever, people will walk by and say, yes. mm -hmm. salt and pepper's here. Yeah. Well, we're two girls from mm -hmm. Brooklyn and Queens. Queens. You know, so Hollywood for us was like, oh my God, we're in Hollywood. Yeah, we're staying true. at yeah, the you see Roosevelt it. Hotel and we walked the, um, the Walk the of seats. Fame and we saw the, the stars, stars on and, the, mm -hmm. you know, just dreamed about our star mm -hmm. possibly being there. Yes. And then all these years, 30 some odd years later, like Pep says, we yeah. are cemented because, in the earth yeah, forever. Yeah, because you have to think no other music was ever asked those questions with it last. You never yeah. hear that. You know? rock and roll Rock last. and roll would last. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, all the blues last and things like that. So when you hear this, to, to imagine when we're traveling and, you know, going to California, like you say, seeing that, like, damn. And you know, when I saw that and I did one, she knows me, I wanted my name. I, I was like, yo, I want that. I can I, tell you, want I remember video. probably seeing, I don't know, your first videos or first performances, and you just hit a nerve when you said, I wanted that. You could see on that stage, and you can see now mm. at the Grammys performance on tour with new kids, mm. you see two women who still want it, yes. and you're willing to give your audience that energy, that this is what it looks like when you want it, yeah. and you get it. Absolutely. Is that how it feels? Yes, yes, yes mm -hmm. it is true. And understanding what it takes to get to there. Yeah.